we go to pay. There's other people in front of us. So what do they do while we're waiting? They put two walls of other merchandise on either side of us. That's the impulse. Who's reached over, grabbed a pack of gum? A cool keychain, breath mints, some earbuds. Then there's a bunch of stuff we're not sure what it is. But it's a dollar. We got to buy it. It's a buck. Come on, honey. We'll figure it out at home. It's a dollar. And we take all this useless stuff and we bring it home and it goes to one place in our house. Anybody know what I'm referring to? The drawer. Who has the drawer? We all have the drawer. We've entitled it. What do we call it? The junk drawer. Some of us have two and three of them. Right? You got junk, important junk, and stuff from mom. <coughs> it's the drawer in which room? Kitchen. Right? It's next to the silverware drawer. It's the drawer that only opens halfway. There's a pissed off claw hammer, doesn't want to come out. Not again! When you get home, check your drawer. We all have the same stuff in there. I don't care how young or old you are, what your beliefs are, we all have the same stuff in our society in the drawer. Am I right? Who has scissors? Who has can openers? Who has corkscrews for bottles of wine? Am I right? Who has tape? Anybody have tape in your drawer? We have a whole civilization of tape, right? There's not one tape. There's scotch tape, there's masking tape, there's electrician's tape, there's gaffer's tape, then the king of all tapes, duct tape, which is now being threatened by gorilla tape. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody use gorilla tape? What's the difference? Nothing, but just costs more, so it makes us feel good about ourselves. Do, do you use it instead of duct tape? What's the difference? The hole. Oh, the hold, like it's... <laughs> well, you know, no, tapes have holes, but I didn't know if it was... I'm gonna take a, a pause. <laughs> when I was a kid, my dad's cure for anything was uh, duct tape. Yeah, you know, my mom came in. Jeffrey fell, Ernie, he broke his leg. All right, get me the duct tape and the WD-40. You know. <laughs> All sorts of stuff in the drawer. Stuff we'll never use, like a liberal, liberal arts degree. Things that are in there. <laughs> Who has keys in your drawer to cars and houses you don't own anymore? Why do we do that? I've never thrown a pen out. You ever throw a pen out? No. Pen stops writing, just into the drawer. Wait for the ink fairy from Bic. <laughs> now you're full. Battery died in the remote, I better recite. No, I'll put them next to the good ones, hope they hook up. This time of year, I'm always reminded of this. When I was a kid, we'd have stockings, so many of us. You know, you have stockings and stuff. And uh, I, that was my favorite part of, of Christmas, uh, was the stocking stuff, more than under the tree. Because it was kind of like, you know, a surprise. It was like a deck of cards and some coins and uh, plastic army soldiers, things, cool things like that. My grandmother thought it was a toy that she put in my stockings. Not for my sister, just me. A pack of corn on the cob holders. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Little miniature yellow plastic corns. That's, that's the international symbol for corn, I'm guessing. You, <laughs> yeah. you could go to France. Excusez-moi. <laughs> oh, Jacques. You know, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Little miniature yellow plastic corns, right? They look like corn which is good for me, I'm too stupid to identify corn, and God forbid I prong a carrot, you know, what a, what a faux pas, and then I'm stuck with that in my duct tape hole. And they have those razor sharp needles coming out the end, and you gotta search for them with your hand. 
in the bottom of the drawer. Oh, you can tell when you find them, right? <laughs> there they are. Get the kids. We like food-related stuff in the drawer, am I right? Who's got Taco Bell Mild? <laughs> Soy sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. The weird butter stuff from Kentucky Fried Chicken. McDonald's ketchup. Salt and pepper packets. Expired Pizza Hut coupons. The red flakes from Pizza Hut, right? All that. You go to a restaurant. On the way out, there's a big bowl of mints. You know the free ones? Red and white striped. And they're free. And when something's free, what do we do? Take as many as we can. And then we eat one. Oh, that's why they're free. They suck, but we throw them back in the drink. Anybody old enough to remember fizzies? I found fizzies once in my drawer when I was a kid. You younger people, you know Pop Rocks? Pop Rocks, right? What are they, like little powdery things? My kids and my nieces and nephew like that. They put it in your mouth and it kind of explodes. It pops, yeah. Hence the, yeah. Does it rock? If it rocked, so, but it pops. When I was a kid, when, are you paying attention? Hello? Okay. Okay, don't pop rock away. When I was a kid, when your parents were kids, we had a thing called a fizzy. It was a tablet about that big. Anybody remember? And you drop it in a glass of water, and it would work like, uh, like an Alka-Seltzer. Yeah. And they were legal now. They were toxic, but uh, <laughs> I never wore a bike helmet either, did you? I never wore knee pads. I, I drank whole milk. Anybody else? I used to go outside and play. Am I the only one? It's amazing the stuff that we ingested as kids and still do. And we've survived. Anybody remember the little candy dots on the wax paper? Oh, yeah. yeah, you tear that off and you eat the candy along with the glue. <laughs> the pixie straws about this big. Red stripe, green stripe, yellow stripe, orange stripe, just filled with sugar. And just suck it down, created by the American <laughs> Dental Association. What a, oh, the little Coke bottles made out of wax, the colored sweetened water. Yeah, yeah, candy cigarettes. Let's get the kids started about 10 years old. So. <laughs> Wax lips, there's a good one. Let's have the kids chew on a candle for an hour and a half. 